Hi there, this is Sandra. I'm a registered dental assistant for XDR Radiology and I'm here to give you your clinical minute. As you already know, when it comes to capturing your x-rays, you want to make sure you're staying within the ALAR principle when it comes to your exposure time. You want to capture the best diagnostic image you can for your dentist, but you don't want to be overexposing your patients. And we at XDR understand how important that is, so we try to give you some assistance in that area. I'm going to open up this exam here. You're going to see two images in here. You're going to see one that's properly exposed and one that is severely underexposed. And you can tell right away which one the severely underexposed one is because it doesn't look too good. It looks pretty bad. You don't really see much detail. You see some lines in the image. But you can also tell it's underexposed by the XDR exposure meter down here on the lower left of the screen. And every time you take an x-ray in XDR, you want to make sure that the black line right there is always in the green. And for this x-ray, you can see that the black line is way in the yellow. It's in the low end. And that's why the image looks so bad because there wasn't enough exposure. So this would tell the operator that they need to bump up the exposure for their next shot or, or they can bump it up and retake the image. And that's what they did. They turn up the exposure time, they retake the image, now the black line's in the green and they have a better diagnostic image for their dentist but they didn't overexpose the patient. Now if you see the black line in the red area, that means the exposure was too high and you can turn it down for your next shot. But if you see the black line in the yellow, that means it's too low and you can turn it up. So as long as your black line is always in the green when you're capturing x-rays in XDR, then that means you'll always be within the ALAR principle. And that's it for your clinical minute.